Welcome back to the first episode of, uh, uh, I don't know what I'm going to call it. The way this show works is that I'm going to pick a random piece of paper out of the box, uh, appropriately titled The Box, and I'm going to draw whatever the piece of paper says. The pieces of paper can be something humble, like uh, my favorite vacation spot, or my favorite food, or they could just be flat out crazy or stupid, like... What's my facial expression after smacking your grandmother's ass? It's gonna be a lot of fun, so let's just dive into it and pick the first paper. Fair warning, I am not the best drawer or artist in the world, and that's kind of one of the points of the show. It's just to see how stupid my drawings could look. So if you came to this thinking you're about to see some artistic sketches with amazing detail and shadows and such, uh, you're in the wrong spot, but if you came here for some bullshit, stay tuned. Alright, first thing we're drawing... Uh, a perfect circle. Alright, so uh, I know I said I wasn't an artist, but I think I kind of nailed down the idea of a perfect circle. Uh, it's pretty much just a really fast movement. Oh Lord Jesus. Just kind of fill in the gaps here. This is not a perfect circle. Uh, it's it's a butt. It's a pretty good butt. I mean, a decent. It's a bony butt. I think there's a message here. Uh, it's that uh, nothing's really perfect. Everything has imperfections. Like my circle right here. This isn't a perfect circle. This is even better. This is this is a real circle. All right. Up next, we got <laughs> uh, a wet pillow. Uh, I, I feel this needs to be changed to landscape for what I'm about to do here. So let's just start with the pillow. Really soft looking one. Possibly some memory foam in there. They always get those little like, those nubs hanging off on the side. Let's get the opening where you put the stuffing. Add some shading. Oh, it's coming together. So now let's make it wet. <laughs> These drops represent moisture. I guess that's a wet pillow. The pillow is wet. That's what the card told me to do. Alright, number three. Peanut butter without the butter. This one's just stupid, so I think it'd just be a peanut. Peanuts look like the number eight. I think that's what a peanut looks like. I don't really eat peanuts, so I don't really know what they look like. I don't fuck around like that. Uh, let's put it in a jar. There's that. Uh, let's put the expiration date on there. Tomorrow. Let's make this jar hard to open. We're, we're gonna put one of those medicine caps on it. Those typically just have like those arrows on it where it's like open one way, close the other. And no matter what you do, it's not gonna open. I think I seen this at Costco's one time actually. To get you your peanut less butter or your peanut butterless butter or your butterless peanut butter. Uh, fuck you. Uh, next. Next, we got a hamster frozen in ice. I don't know why I fucking wrote that. Let's let's establish the hamster first. And I've actually had a hamster before. They, they, they're 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 round. <laughs> so there's a start. Um, and they got tiny little feet. They also got those little noses. Oh my god, It's this looks like a hamster already. This legit looks like a hamster. You cannot deny that. Like, if you saw this and a kid brought it to you, you would be like, that's a hamster, god damn it. Alright, let's get the whiskers. God fucking damn it, now it looks like a fucking mouse. I fucked it up. We're gonna keep going here. We don't make mistakes. Uh, like Bob Ross said, just, just happy little accidents. So now we gotta put him in ice. Do we wanna do an ice cube? Or do we wanna do like, he's like Captain America. So we'll put like an iceberg. Like an iceberg is just like pointy. Oh, that's that's not a nice, we gotta, mm, happy accidents, happy accidents. Icebergs are more square there. And like, ugh, that, the, the fucking nipple at the top ruined it. Now I, I don't even know what this is anymore. Let's just finish it. So now we have the hamster frozen nice, uh, inspired by Captain America, 
the first Avenger. Uh, let's see. What I ate for breakfast. Did I eat breakfast? What did I eat? I had coffee and bread. So just kind of bear with me here. We're gonna start off with the cup of coffee. Let's add some shading. Just, wait, I don't know about that. I'm not that good at, we're gonna do it anyway. That's some pretty good shading if you ask me. That's the inside of the cup and that's the liquid. Now we're gonna draw the bread. And I figured, why not, instead of just drawing just coffee and bread, we're gonna draw the bread taking a dip in the coffee. Like he's just like a hot tub. This this is what I see when I look at bread. Just a mushroom cloud. I should be drawing in pen. I should next next time I'm make sure I'm gonna draw in pencil that way I can erase these lines. It's kind of ruining it. Uh, but you know what? We're gonna work with it. And guess what? He has a visor, glasses, ninja turtle mask on. Yeah, I really should have used the pencil. But he's happy. He's in there. He's chilling. There's the smoke. The lines here. Oh, fuck that up. Happy accident. Only happy Bob Rosses. You know, it ain't the best looking piece of bread. But it ain't the worst. Like I said, no one can be perfect. Just like this guy. But he's just in there and he's chilling and he's having a good time. And you know what? For that, we're gonna give him some butter nipples. That's my breakfast that I had at 12.45 p.m. All right, last one. Cats eating things. I'm gonna loosely inspire this by my sister's cat. His name is Mac, and one time he tried to eat a sock. First, we need to draw the cat and with his mouth wide open so he may consume the things. Oh lord, this is one that's just gonna come out bad. This is his jaw. Looks like Squidward. See, this already looks like a cat. It looks like a guy. Get the. Put the fuck up there. Ooh, oh. So now that the pussy is established, uh, let's draw the stuff it's eating. I originally was gonna say, I'm, oh, I was gonna do my sister's cat eating that sock. But now that the, the picture is essentially just a masterpiece and I can sell it for a fortune, we need to take it a step further. He's gonna eat the plane of existence. If you could excuse me for about a couple hours, I'm gonna to need to do a bit of an acid trip to figure out well, what that actually looks like. And I'm back. And what I saw was amazing. Masterpiece. All right, thank you for joining me on today's episode of whatever the fuck. Show up next time when I do it again and find out what else I wrote in there because I honestly forgot what I wrote. Uh, I just kind of fill out a piece of paper, just the first things that come into my head and cut them up and put them in there. And I kind of forgot, it's been a couple weeks. So it's been building up and I'm gonna keep adding to it. So it's gonna be great, hopefully nothing offensive. All right, take care.